<laughs> Fredmon! <laughs> Loving Papa, Muljarish Japonicus, and an underwater cleaner. <laughs> hey, Ben! The balloon seems closer. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ben, let's take a break here. Sure, Cindy. Huh? What is this? They look like eggs. Cindy, don't touch it. Why? Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? Oh, my. I am Mulharis Japonicus. You must be a female. I was surprised because you sounded like a male. I am a male. What? Do you mean a male can lay eggs? No, Cindy. A female Mulharis Japonicus lays eggs on the male's back. Why is that? It's out of a father's love. I want all my eggs to be safe, so I keep them safe on water for 15 to 20 days until they hatch. I don't eat at all during that time. Oh, I see. But Mulharis Japonicus, why do you expose eggs above water? Well, then eggs can absorb oxygen. Also, they will be kept warm and can hatch fast. Wow, the father's love is amazing. Well, I can do anything for my eggs. We are 17 to 20 millimeters long. We usually live in rivers or reservoirs, where water is calm. We poke our sharp mouth into small fish or tadpoles and suck their body fluid. The larvae that hatch on my back look just like me. Oh, they don't have wings just yet. The larvae stay in a shallow pond and eat small prey. When it gets cold, they go inside the dry leaves that fall on the water until the winter is over. Well, I need to protect the eggs. So stop bothering me and go! Oh, okay, Cindy. Be careful. Aw, okay, Ben. Cindy, we could have been in big trouble. Really? Yeah, I read in a book. It said that Mojara Japonicuses are also scary carnivorous insects. What? They didn't attack us because he was protecting his eggs now. Oh, my. There is no safe place here, huh? Phew. Oh, Ben. What is that prickly thing? Huh? They are sticking out of the water. Oh, Cindy, we better run away. Why? Renatra Chinensis Mayor! Oh my! What? Renatra Chinensis Mayor? Oh no! Save me! Fred, can you help me and Cindy swim to the lotus flowers? Chinensis mayor's breathing tubes. Breathing tubes? Yes. Since insects don't have gills like fish, Renatra Chinensis mayor sticks its breathing tubes out above the water to breathe air. Oh! Yes. Also, a diving beetle saves air under its wings and breathes that air underneath the water. It can carry an air bottle at its butt. Wow! There are so many ways to survive underwater. Wow! You are pretty smart. Ben, you did study a lot about insects. Who is this? Me? I'm a diving beetle. A diving beetle? Well, we can breathe through our shells. If we need more air, we can save air under our wings or keep an air bubble at our butt like this. As I breathe, the air bubble gets smaller and smaller. As you see, I look like a flat oval. We are very active from spring till summer. Oh, also, we 
love to eat me. Dragonfly larva, Mojaris draconicus, Renatra chinensis mayor. We can catch anything and chew them all. We even eat dead animals, so people call us a cleaner underwater. <laughs> Female diving beetle lay one egg among water plants after mating. Usually, the egg hatches in three to seven days and start exploring the water. A fully grown larva will dig a hole in the ground near the water and become a poofa. I better get going. Bye! <laughs> a diving beetle might appear again in any minute, so let's be careful. Come on! Sure. <laughs> uh, what's going on? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, please connect an oxygen mask to the diving beetle's air bubble. It's oxygen. Water release. Thanks. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 <laughs>